With their endless inspiration and fondness for the unique, photographers, painters, musicians and sculptors all over Africa have entertained, informed and inspired many of us. We focus on the ones who are under the spotlight for 2012. We first go to Lagos, Nigeria's economic capital. The old house of Afrobeat legend Fela Kuti now is known as the Kalakuta Museum. It is also a boutique hotel with a bar and a stage. Brightly coloured mural paintings, luxury African artefacts and photos about Kuti's life adorn the house. In his lifetime, Fela thrilled Nigerians and music lovers from all over the world. He was popular for his hips and his mesmerizing music, which mixes jazz, funk and West African folk rhythm. His bedroom remained intact since he died from AIDS in 1997. Kuti's sons maintain the legacy of the Afrobeat music he created in the 60s. Our musical journey takes us to Zanzibar. For the ninth edition of the Sauti Zabusara festival, which means the voice of wisdom in Swahili, 400 artists took part in the event. Among them, the Zanzibari Tarab singer Bikidule performing barefoot. The African art is also famous for its sculptures. It is in the Democratic Republic of Congo's capital, Kinshasa, the painter Teddy Tsimba produces his artwork. He draws his inspiration from life. His creations are based on objects he finds around him. The 44-year-old artist is influenced by the violent colonial past of the Democratic Republic of Congo and the civil war that claimed millions of lives. He combs through his country's battlefields looking for war relics. He then goes back to his studio to create art pieces charged with an optimism that beats all expectations. South Sudan marked the first year anniversary of its independence in 2012. On this occasion, actors from Juba performed a local adaptation of the Shakespeare's place in Berlin in Arabic at the beginning of the year. Disputes over oil and borders between the two Sudans sparked a brief war in April. South Sudan temporarily took over an oil field controlled by Khartoum. These issues didn't deter the actors from performing. Their play is a metaphor of a fight against an imperial power and ends on a powerful reconciliation scene. This cultural African journey finally ends in Senegal, named capital of Africa in 2012. Omar Victor Diop's exhibition at Dakar Biennale 2012 was a success. The Senegalese photographer came back to his studio to produce his latest collection named 2012, The Future of What's Beautiful. He draws his inspiration from the environment. Diop creates his own designs and outfits from recycled objects like this model wrapped in a white nylon bag attached with staples. We want peace. We want peace. Music, sculpture, theatre, photography and many other art forms highlight the wealth of African culture. 2012 has been a year full of surprises. The continent begins to be recognised as a fruitful place for the organisation of international cultural events.